early mornings in Udaipur became our favorite time of the day. Quiet lanes, calm bridges, and the reflections in the lake. Walking around the old town is like walking into history. But honestly, we were looking for something that kickstarts our day. A pretty little cafe by the Pichola Lake, some lovely artisanal coffee, and an iced latte. Truly a hidden gem in the old town, the Backyard Cafe. This is like the perfect start to your day in Udaipur. Start early and before you visit the city palace, come to the Backyard Cafe for some lovely coffee. Really excited for the rest of our day, we make our way through the quaint town in the city palace. So after finishing your coffee, head to the city palace of Udaipur. There is no better way to start seeing Udaipur than the main city palace here. What do I say about this place? I am moved. Me and Ritika are so moved ever since we got here. So Udaipur was the capital of Mewar, of the Mewar kingdom. Maharaja Uday Singh, he moved his capital from Chittorgarh because there were a lot of attacks from the Mughals that were happening on their fort there. So they moved to Udaipur and the city palace was the first thing he ever built here. And the palace itself took 400 years to complete and 23 generations of these kings have kept elaborating on the palace. For the whole palace itself, It'll take you 3-4 hours just to walk the whole thing and understand the history behind it. And that's also just 30% of the palace. This palace is so huge. You might have heard the name of Maharana Pratap. He was a great warrior. Maharana Pratap's father was named Singh. By the name of Uday Singh, city called Udaipur. Jai Singh is a Jaipur. Jodha Singh is a Jodhpur. In Rajasthan, cities which is ending by Pur. Udaipur, Jaipur, Jodhpur. This means that the city of any Hindu king has been created. It seems like the city of the city of the city of the city. Aurangabad, Ghaziabad, Ahmedabad. The city founded by Mughal king. And the city of the city of the city of the city. Jaisalmer, Badmer, Ajmer. So it will be a whole desert area. So one part of it is where the royal family is still staying. One part of it is given to two five-star hotels and still a part of the palace is like a museum for you to watch, for you to look around. And just simply going back into those times, I mean in the 15th century, when Maharaja Uday Singh started building the palace and how after 400 years, the royal family of Udaipur and the prince uh, Lakshayarad Singh Ji, who still is like the ruler, the royalty of Udaipur, that's a portable cage that they used for trapping tigers and panthers. And this is where they kept the tigers. Like, can you imagine a tiger prowling around in the king's backyard? The forts of Rajasthan are some of the most magnificent things that you can see in India. There is no better way to explain it. I think you and me can only fathom it, you know. The king has a winter palace which is this grand city palace. And then there's a summer palace that overlooks, that's in the middle of the lake. That is the king's summer residence. And then there's a Sajangar fort, which is the monsoon residence. And you can see all these forts in Udaipur. The city of lakes, the city of forts. Wow. We have so much more to cover and we are already moved. It's like going back into history. Like in the 15th century, the way kings lived, the way royalty lived. There are so many things that they have kept here, they have preserved. Also, this palace was never attacked. Not the Mughals, not the Britishers. The Mewar kings were always free. And that's why you can see a lot of the reminiscence in the palace. And then, there's our most favorite part of the palace. Palki Khana, a bar and cafe at the city palace. You can order a glass of wine and just adore the palace or get some lovely margarita pizza. Also, their bar munchies are bhujia. Wow! We chilled for an hour, discussed stories of the palace and that royal era. Until of course, it was time to leave. Let's call this Ritika's version of a royal era. Vipul Shah at the Ganesh Emporium is I think the most eccentric designer of Rajasthan. Handicrafts, home decor, jackets, bags, dresses and this centuries old beautiful Haveli. Most, most, most excited to do that. That's 
why I came to Udaipur. For? For Mr. Vipul Shah and the collection. Of course, when you're this eccentric, there's no shooting inside. But wait a few more episodes and you'll know what Ritika wore. So evening comes with its own glow and the narrow streets of the old city, they shine in yellow. We walk through the town, streets filled with graffitis, murals, colourful lights, paintings, arts, photo shoots. And then there's Cafe Boho, a rooftop cafe with views of the lake, some lovely food and the shining reflections in the lake. We walk some more bridges and head out to our final dinner stop of the day, some authentic Italian food at the Koi Cafe.